Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video and in this video as you can see I do have the latest wave of vintage collection kind of the latest wave it's the reissue wave or specialty wave as Hasbro like to call it basically all of these figures have been released before back in the first run of the vintage collection from 2010 to 2012 and the best thing about these ones is that it is the new thicker cardstock. At last, we have figures on the new cardstock and I've got to tell you, in hand, they feel great. They really, really are much thicker and I'll show you a little comparison in a second. So if you're wondering where you can get these figures from, in the UK, Star Action figures have them. They're going to be shipping them over the weekend. Um, basically, I'm not 100% sure when these are going to be available in other countries like the US or whatever. I'm sure it'll be pretty soon, but in the UK, these are going to be shipping out the weekend so if you haven't ordered them already star action figures is the place to get them so here we have obi-wan kenobi mace windu anakin skywalker and ahsoka and we're going to take a look at each one individually very quickly and i will be doing individual reviews of all of them except for maybe these two i've already got ahsoka and i don't really need another baby anakin particularly but anyway i'm really glad for these two because i do not have these two figures loose so that's a welcome addition to my collection anyway so without further ado let's get bosk out of the way and what we'll do is we'll move them all out of the way we'll check them out one by one starting with obi-wan kenobi so first of all let's check out the card stock so here we have an off-world jawa elder from arvala 7 this is the haslab off-world jawa and amazingly these weren't on the thicker card stock which is you know for something that comes with the haslab razor crest that's really bad in my opinion we've had to wait for a reissue wave to get the card stock now there you go i don't know whether you're going to be able to see that um but i would say it's almost double the thickness and if i just show you on here how that bends can you see that bending away it's really quite flexible like so Whereas if you get the Obi-Wan Kenobi, that is much, much thicker. I mean, obviously it still bends a little bit, but it's going to be a lot harder to get sort of creases and folds and things in this because it is noticeably thicker, which is great. Okay, then, so uh, just a quick overview of the figures, because I say I will be reviewing these on the channel in the coming days. So this is Obi-Wan Kenobi from Attack of the Clones. He retains his number VC31 from the original run. And you can see on the back of the card there, we've got the reissue wave and the most recent wave that I have reviewed on the channel. I still need to do Yoda. And unfortunately, that wave did not make it to have the thicker cardstock, which is really disappointing. Um, maybe some later releases of those will have the thicker cardstock. I don't know. Depends what factory it came from and things like that. But the ones that I got imported from Singapore were on the thinner cardstock of those. But... There you go, that's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Nice picture there of uh, Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi from Attack of the Clones with his with his fake beard. Always made me laugh that. But the figure's looking good. Really nice figure, it looks like. The uh, sort of cloak looks to be fitting him a little bit better than it once did. Uh, it be good to get this figure out loose and do a review of it. And the, the head sculpt there with the photo reel looks, looks okay. Doesn't seem to be any dodgy paint issues or whatever on that particular one nice dark blue lightsaber i'll have to check my other version of this to see if that matches up but the, that lightsaber does really look quite dark but there you go obi-wan kenobi so that's the uh as i say vc31 so i'm doing these in number order so this is vc35 this is mace windu and this one is the best one of the way for me this is the one that you know i really needed this figure loose and there he is samuel l jackson as mace windu with his purple lightsaber and he's looking pretty good in the bubble as well. I do like the way he's displayed. And that's a pretty good image of him in the uh, Geonosis Arena. Mace Windu in the name pill, Attack of the Clones. Of course, these are the exact same card backs that we got back in 2010 to 2012. VC35. And once again, the thicker card stock, which is, which is awesome. That is so good. Next up, we have Anakin Skywalker from The Phantom Menace. And for me, this was a really bizarre choice to do as a reissue. I'm pretty sure this figure peg warmed big time. And to be honest, Star Action Figures actually had the original 2012 version of this on their website a couple of months ago because I picked one up, a nice unpunched one. And, you know, I really didn't see the point of reissuing this one, but I, I guess they have their reasons. VC80 in the line. 
same images on the back there and there you go so anakin skywalker as i say this is the the least favorite from the wave in my opinion and yeah not really too sure why we've got it and finally the most controversial one of them all this is ahsoka this figure was selling for you know fifteen hundred dollars graded back in late november december time absolutely ridiculous and hasbro announced that they are going to reissue it and the price tumbles so i do feel sorry for anyone that paid way over the odds for this figure nice card back and everything clone wars goes with all the other clone wars that we've been getting recently and she is vc 102 in the line so one of the very last figures of the original run of the vintage collection and there she is in the in the bubble there I do believe some parts of this figure have been upgraded. The belt is ever so slightly different. The uh, head obviously has new paint and photo reel and everything, bring it to life a little bit more. The figure I have of this is from the 3.75 inch black series when it is reissued in that in that line. And I've got to say, it for me, it's not a great Ahsoka. Definitely the two that we've got since then are far superior to this, but a lot of people would want this card back in their collection. I don't actually own the original one of this so for me this one is perfect for me this is going to stay carded in the collection and uh, i don't need to worry about that old one anymore vintage collection on the back there and there she is ahsoka all right then guys so there you go that is the latest wave of vintage collection figures i will be reviewing definitely these two in the coming days so be sure to check that out on the channel if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like down below and I'm sure you guys that have pre-ordered these, you know, they will be coming to you very, very soon. And of course, the best news is that they are on the thicker card stock. So hopefully from now on, anything after this wave is going to be on the thicker card stock. And we can stop getting, you know, creased cards and damaged cards and things like that. Because these are going to be far less likely to be damaged, whether that be in the factory or when they put them in their boxes or when the retailer sends them to you, whatever it is. They're going to be far less likely to be damaged so that is awesome and it's about time too so there you go then guys i hope you've enjoyed the video thank you to my patreon supporters and channel members as always your support is greatly appreciated thank you all for watching and don't forget to check out the channel for the reviews of some of these figures thank you all for watching and we shall see you on the next one